obviously upset with that call and he's shaking his head asking the uh, officials about that one. Wilbur did not give Lambie a chance to go up and come down and I think that's why it was called a, a blocking call and not a charge. You'll see Wilbur come down right here and try to get position. Now watch, he's still moving when the ball is up in the air and I think that's why the call was made the way it was. This crowd obviously though does not agree with the official. Clock stops, 6.24 to play first half. Villanova, John Johnson, a great player of several years ago, first at Iowa, then with the Seattle Supersonics in the NBA. Spinning is long, Terry Long with a nice move. Merlin continues to find a way to put the ball inside against that 2-3 defense, and that's the reason why you're in the 2-3, is to prevent that ball from going inside, so a breakdown defensively somewhere for Villanova. Presley out top with it. Maryland going zone. I think they're back in the man-to-man -man defense, but what a matchup. You've got the guard Wilson at 5'9", being guarded by Lewis. The bounce pass bound Lansky, who spins to the hoop. shooting range gets it to Gatlin. Johnson knocked away by Wilson into the hands of Wilbur. Wilbur has it taken away and a jump is called. Maryland's turn for possession. It will be Maryland's turn. What a good defensive play this time by Gatlin. He just stays in good position. Wilbur trying to shake and bake a little bit. He gets a hand on the ball and see a great defensive play, a good no call by the official. That last break, as I thought, both teams shooting the ball very well. Maryland's turn to lead as we ride a seesaw here in the first half. 450 till intermission. Maryland was shooting the ball at 59 percent. Villanova shooting it at 62.5. That last time out. Presley makes a move against two defenders and misses. Jensen has a second chance, and they'll set it up with Wilson. Kenny Wilson, a teammate of David Rivers, now at Notre Dame at St. Anthony's High School in New Jersey. Drills another one from 20, the second he's hit from that distance. Uh, he'll get a lot of playing time as long as he continues to shoot that jump shot. That will beat a lot of defenses, that shot will. Can you imagine Wilson and Rivers in the same backcourt? No wonder they won a state title. <laughs> Won a lot of state titles with those two guys. again will be going to the line he gets the ball in such good position watch him he moves with, and watch how when he catches the ball he immediately squares up to the basket there he is and brings the defense up Jensen reaching in that time and gets him across the arm so Jensen picks up his first Villanova goes over the limit Maryland meanwhile with just three team fouls 4-11 to play in the half this could tie it looking right into that crowd, those blue shakers waving in the background, but didn't bother him at all, obviously. He sank that one, hit all bottom. This is going to be a tough place for visitors to play, but certainly not as bad as the old field house, which held just over 3,000. Well, this place holds about 6,500, so they doubled that capacity of the old place. And as we mentioned, they could get it up to about 10,000 if they chose. Wilbur! Presley, I think, just a little bit frustrated with that shot. He, as I said before, he's had trouble making that shot. He likes to shoot that running hook shot. Just did not get the touch on it that time. It did. Long is just a 57% free throw shooter. Earns the bonus. Tied at 29. 3.18 to play 
until halftime. He's shooting it at the field at 69%, so better percentage from the field than at the free throw line. why they've been able to get some open shots. They set the screen well away from the ball. Wilbur, double pumps, got it back, knocked away in a foul. Well, good second effort by Wilbur that time. He's in there among the tall guys, and he shot the ball and was able to get back up before anyone else did to get the offensive rebound and put the ball back up. He got fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Derek Lewis picking up his first foul. Seventy-four percent free throw shooter. He's filling over the lead again. We mentioned Wyatt Maker in the lineup. Massimino refers to his two big men, Everson and Maker, as under construction at this point. They are not yet to where he would like them to be. If they could emerge as offensive threats, it would change things considerably for Villanova. As it is, Presley is getting too much defensive attention. Wilbur hits them both, and Villanova forges a two-point lead at 31-29. Timeout with two back in for Maryland. Gatlin and Baxter in the backcourt. Bias, Lewis, and Massenburg up front. Villanova still in that boxing chaser. They're assigning one man to Lynn Bias, and it's worked for a while because Bias hasn't had the ball. Here's Gatlin to the side of the lane for the jumper. Wilbur with an aggressive rebound from his guard spot. Out to Wilson, but they can't run. Maryland gets back. Wilbur looked for Plansky. They had him shut off. Jensen. Baseline through a crowd. Can't hit it off the glass. Another chance. Gatlin has it for Maryland. The Terps look to tie. And they do on the Baxter drive if it counts. No. No basket. Well, they're not going to count the basket. Wilbur gave up the body. Did a good job defensively getting position and causing the charge on that play. We'll see the fast break right here, and Jeff Baxter is going to be the guy to get called with the foul. Gatlin giving the ball up, and Baxter should probably pull up at that point and shoot the, shoot the jump shot off the glass. You see Wilbur giving up his body. Definitely a charge. Easy call for the official. The technical foul, I think, on the Maryland bench. So Jensen goes to the line for the two free throws. We mentioned Jensen's 10 for 10 outing against Vermont. More impressive, the 5 for 5, including what turned out to be the game-winning basket with about two minutes to go against Georgetown in the championship game, and then earlier in the NCAA tournament, a five-for-six performance against North Carolina. All right, those games still fresh in everyone's mind, and the job that Jensen did, just unbelievable. You're looking at a potential major swing. Could be a six-point swing. They don't get the basket by Baxter. The technical cost them two. Villanova with the ball, and here's Wilbur. in double figures with 10. Alley-oop Bias. Contact with Plansky. And that'll bring Bias. No! They're going to call the foul on Lynn Bias. Now. You're right. Well, well, this is a difficult call right here. Let's see if we can tell on the replay because I can tell both guys going for the basket and Bias is coming over the back. But normally in that situation, the call goes against the defense and not the offense. And you see Lynn Bias just laughing that one off. He was on his way to the free throw line, thought he had two coming. So the last 30 seconds or so have been very sweet for Villanova. And that box and chaser finally pan off of Villanova because Bias has not had the basketball. Wilson took an ill-advised shot, but Villanova keeps the ball. 
I was. Well, that's a freshman shot. Not a good shot for that situation. And Coach Massimino up and tell him just to calm down just a little bit and work a little bit harder for the offense. take either one of those guys so one more for Jensen the black patch of course up near the shoulder Jake Dibbon a long time and beloved trainer who passed away in December Maker goes down Everson in for the last 29 seconds Charles Grizzell played his college ball at Duke and in the early 50s, he was a teammate of Dick Grote there. Rebound to Massenburg as Jensen has a rare miss from the line. Now Merlin, if they choose, will be able to work for the last shot with 19 seconds to go here in the first half. You see the clock at the top of your screen. Ten seconds. Fifth, they go to buy it. No, they didn't. Johnson, they let him have it and he hit it. Four seconds to get a shot off. But Villanova leads it as a collegiate player. The memory. Villanova ball as we start the second half. They lead by five. Well, Wilbur has the basket right bar right there. He really got hot late in the first half and hit some big baskets for Villanova. Presley has it slip through his hands and Bias has it for Maryland. They can move within three with a basket here. Here's Johnson who hit the basket late in the first half. the 2-3 zone, it may still be that box and chaser that they went to late in the first half to keep the ball away from Lynn Bias. Baxter started the game at a guard spot, but Johnson opens the second half. Long misses and Klansky rebounds. Wilbur to West. On the baseline to Presley. Wilbur is wide open, but can't hit. Gatlin fires ahead to Johnson. Johnson slithers through, and it spins in for him on a nice move. Well, just a good individual effort that time by Johnson. He created his own shot, used the pump fake there to get the defense off balance, and went up in traffic to make that one. Johnson got their last basket on the first half of their first bucket after intermission. Jensen, quick release. Harold Jensen, as is his custom, stayed long after practice, working alone with one of the ball boys on his shooting touch. Lansky has the rebound. Merlin right now with some one-on-one -on -one play, not the way they got the lead early in the ballgame. They were moving it around and 
getting the ball to the open player. Right now they're in a little bit of a too much man-to-man -man type offense. Klamski driving on long, puts it up lefty, and Lewis clears the boards. Again, Villanova able to get back defensively. They'll always make you play them five on five, or virtually always. That's right, they do a good job with the defensive conversion. And good defense that time to force Lynn Bias to take a bad shot. He overshot it, now the alley-oop for Presley. But nothing's going right for the Villanova senior. Just a little bit out of control, fumbled the ball around a little bit, and oh, just having bad luck on the inside because that ball rolled around and rolled around but would not go through the net. Three fouls on the freshman, Doug West. First Villanova foul of the second half. They still have that box built around Len Bias. They do not want him to get on track here in the second half. and they turn it over. Jensen, feed to Wilbur. It was a great pass and Wilbur couldn't hit. Well, Villanova having some bad breaks on the inside. Now it's spreading throughout the team. Her Presley has had trouble on the inside this whole game and Wilbur that time missed an easy two. Jensen deprived of a much deserved assist. 16.50 remaining in the game. Villanova 40, Maryland 35. Wilbur for the jumper. And Johnson has come off the bench for six points. When he's shooting with a lot of authority right now and a lot of confidence. Didn't hesitate at all on that shot. Johnson is a freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee. And he has been a factor for Charles Brazell today. Here's West and the Villanova freshman connects. Well, you saw in both of those exchanges, both teams stayed right within their offensive pattern to get the good shots couple of minutes of this first half, neither team was really running the pattern. Going over by five again. Bias lunges and hits. He had missed his first two of the second half. Now it's 19 for the game. It's been a while since he scored some points, so maybe that will get his confidence up now and get him back in the offensive flow. Lewis on Presley. West got himself too far underneath, but a Maryland player got a piece of it. It's out of bounds to the Terrapin. One one on one move. Watch him here. Gets the pump fake. Gets the defense off. And there's the two right there. Excellent offensive player. Out with a seven point lead over UCLA. And Kansas beat Kansas State in Manhattan, Kansas by 14. Jack Hartman, the K State coach, having announced his retirement at the end of the season. Larry Brown's Jayhawks rebound for a loss at, from a loss at Iowa State a few days ago. Looks like Villanova now in the straight two three defense and. They're not going to be able to stand that defense very long. And that's the opening in a 2-3 zone. You want to flash into the blue, into the paint, and that's just what Merlin did. Right now. And yet the average player isn't going to burn you in that alignment. They were right up on Bias, and he just stuck it in their face. Can't play him any better than that. Merlin back to within one. Kenny Wilson, the freshman. Into Presley. Yes, and a foul. He really needed that basket, and that one almost did not go down for him. You'll see Bias. Now watch him break into the middle here. He's pointing out where he's coming. He's going to break right into the middle of that zone defense and catch the ball. He'll turn around and knock this one off the backboard. And what a shot. Presley right now posting up strong and takes it to the basket with authority. And look, that one almost didn't go over the rim, but it did. He'll have a chance for the three-point play. It was Bias who fouled him. For Bias, the second personal. And Bias may be hurt. He is uh, one out of the game right now. And the trainer over there on the Maryland bench is really paying attention to his right wrist, I think it is. So maybe he hit his hand on the rim. Oh, that's the uh, 
That could be very dangerous right there to mess up that arm. That produces a lot of points for Merle. Presley throws up a brick from the foul line, and the lead remains at 3, 44-41. We'll keep an eye on bias for you. Villanova now still in that 2-3 zone, and I think they'll be able to play it a little more honestly now with Bias out of the lineup. Lewis, however, is hit with a foul for Maryland in the lane. Let's set the tariff of the lineup. They've got Lewis Long and Speedy Jones up front, John Johnson and Keith Gatlin in the backcourt. Wilson Jensen, freshman Gary Massey, Mark Plansky, and Harold Presley for the Wildcats. Plansky baseline through a crowd. Did they touch it on the rim? They may have touched it, and they did. I think it was going home anyway. I think it was. But it doesn't count. I think it was Presley that got a hand on that, and that ball would have stayed in there. You'll see it roll around the rim here. Good move by Jensen. Plansky along the baseline, and look at it. It's rolling around and going in, but a good call by the official. Presley up there on the rim. 14-20 to play. 44-41 Villanova. Villanova very active in that 2-3 zone. Johnson sandwiched and foul. Jensen the guilty party. And there's Bias on the bench trying to shake off jammed hand or wrist. Still seems to be in a lot of pain on the bench and he's shaking it around trying to get some feeling back in there. I'm sure he will be back in this ball game, but you can tell when he's out how, Mer how much Merlin misses him. within a basket. Maryland 11 and 8, just 1 and 6 in the ACC. Villanova comes in at 14 and 9. And Rolly Massimino feels that 20 victories would almost assure him of a spot in the 64 team NCAA field. Well, with Villanova being the defending champion, 20 wins would be awful difficult to keep him out of there. Possibly 18 or 19. Jensen misses. Rebound to Long, quick outlet to Gatlin, but again, Villanova regroups defensively. Well, they do a good job of that, getting back and not allowing Merlin to run the fast break. Merlin likes to get out on the break. Villanova cutting that off every time. They can tie it with a basket here. And they do with Speedy Jones finishing off the alley-oop. Oh, and give Gatlin a lot of credit for that two points because he made an almost perfect pass to get the ball up there. Late in the first half, Villanova established an eight-point lead. Now we're even again. Merlin's coming, coming back with Lynn Bias still on the bench. Out of bounds to Maryland. Uh, good defense. Both teams on the floor. Now watch the alley -oop. Gatlin making the pass. And there is the easy two for Tom Jones. Boy, he has a uh, great jumping ability. So now the Terrapins, under some adverse circumstances, because Villanova was on a roll, up by eight, and this place was really rocking. The Terrapins trying to turn things around and take the lead themselves. Jones doesn't have good outside range. He won't take that shot, although they invite him to. Gatlin will. This is long. They keep it alive, and Presley has it. And Presley came up limping a little bit on that play. Wilson has it rattle in and out. And Derek Lewis has the rebound. Gatlin to Jones. Rebound, Blansky. Back and forth now, up and down the floor, I think. Good job, Villanova pulling out that time to set up the offense. And a Maryland foul on the pass down low. Bias has come back in. Injured his hand trying to stop a Presley dunk a few minutes ago. Maryland has six players on the court. Nobody wants to leave. 
Minneapolis, Terry Long is going out of the lineup. Last foul was on Jones, his second, team's third. Villanova has two team fouls in the second half. Bias is on Presley. Maryland in the 2-3 zone. They've been in that man-to-man -man most of the ball game and switching back to the 2-3 now. West with the jumper. Johnson with the rebound for Maryland. And their turn to try and take the lead as both teams have cooled off the last few trips down the floor. Lewis has it. Seven for Derek Lewis and the lead for the Terps. He's had a hard time in there. A lot of those shots just like that one, instead of rolling in, has, uh, has been rolling off. So had a little bit better touch on that one. Wilbur finds Presley, but Presley can't find the basket. Another try. Three tries. Total frustration for Presley. Wow. Averaging 17 a game, but he came in cold off two poor shooting performances against Penn and St. John's, and that has continued this afternoon. When the shots he, missed, he is missing in this ball game really hurts the confidence. Those are shots that he knows he can make, and he's going to be thinking a lot about why those shots are not going down. Count it for Lewis and bring him to the line. And interestingly, while Bias was out with the injured hand for two and a half minutes, Maryland outscored Villanova in that stretch 3 nothing. so Bias' absence didn't hurt them terribly. Oh, well, that's for sure. The last basket by Lewis. When we come back, he'll be at the foul line within their offensive pattern and coming up with a good shot. And they keep the ball off the Lewis miss from the line. A chance to go up by half a dozen. Gatlin has eight assists already. You see Merlin now really moving the ball around, getting the ball on the inside against that 2-3 zone. Lynn Bias will probably break up into the middle. He's been able to get that. Shot. There he is in the corner. Now let's see after he passes the ball which way he moves. Stayed put along the baseline. They miss and Presley has it. good position and was going to try to come up with the block. Now watch him. He puts the, his body in between the ball and the defensive player and draws the charge, still gets the ball up and almost got that one to go down. Wilson has been a good free throw shooter for them in his freshman season, especially in clutch situations. Hit a pair against Penn to ice a victory with about 20 seconds to go recently. some full court pressure. Not a whole lot of pressure, just enough to throw the Maryland offense off. And here comes this crowd. Goes out on the wing. Baxter giving the 20-footer if he wants it. Johnson from the corner. Way off. Presley the rebound. A good one to get things going. First game ever in the John E. DuPont Pavilion. Shoot 
working so far. Villanova starting the offense a little bit further out than they had been against the man-to-man. -man. Wilson slides through. Good pass to Wilbur. about the third time he's done that just taking things into his own hands created a shot for himself and he's making them in, in a lot of traffic Presley. oh an awful touch on that one here's the follow that doesn't drop here's the third try and he was fouled as it was slapped away going up you know i think presley's just trying a little bit too hard you see him there in the players gathering around him to give him a little support but I think he's just trying a little bit too hard to do, do too much one thing you have to say for him he's not disappearing in the midst of the slump he knows as a senior as their top scorer that they look to him and he wants to take charge in the game he's not shying away from it but it just isn't there for him today over his career he's made so many of those shots as you see the field goal percentages there for both teams 29.4 percent for Villanova in the second half but Presley's made so many of those shots, he knows he can make them. He knows he has to continue to shoot. That's the only way to come out of a slump. Perfect with a pair of free throws. 52-50 Villanova. And Maryland asked for a timeout as they were facing a five-second call, having trouble getting it in. Seven. We move inside seven minutes as Maryland gets it to the front court. attention to land bias everywhere he is on the floor he's not been able to get the ball very much here in the second half Gatlin to Johnson playing with confidence and playing like an upperclassman instead of a freshman well he's taking the slack off of Lynn Bias Villanova we're doing such a good job on Bias not letting him have it someone needs to step up for Maryland and Johnson's doing that right now it off he made a fine move but the shot wouldn't go for it I think you might see an offensive foul right here yeah you got it I was just getting ready to say to watch the matchup on the inside because the last three or four times down the floor as you see Jensen up and very upset about that but watch this uh, you'll see bias just throw the offense back but the last three or four times down the floor there it is got him right up under the chin the official right up on top of the plate there'll be two free throws on the other end they've really been going at each other the last three or four times i think you'll see possibly a foul go a, a call go in bias's favor this time because both of those guys are bumping each other an awful lot the officials of course will want to get control of that situation before it gets too far out of hand Villanova by two again Villanova is led by as many as eight Maryland has had a six point lead Bias hides it as he gets the bounce well, what a touch on that shot that time got bias with 23 which is his average Maryland now in the man-to-man -man. the 2-3 zone has been working for him I'm a little surprised they've changed here and gone to the man-to-man -man defense bias on Wilson about a 
foot taller than he. Wilson takes it right to him. Presley follows and holds it as we've got a foul. Presley has 10 rebounds. He has continued to play aggressively. Well, he has. It's very good to see that he has not let up on either end of the floor just because he's not making those shots on the inside. Coach Rolly Massimino up giving instructions to his team. Presley will shoot two. Maryland went over the limit with that foul. This is a straight two-shot situation. Boy, and that doesn't have the confidence either. Normally when you're a good shooter and you're not making the baskets from the field as he's not, you go to the free throw line and you really concentrate and make those to have that confidence, but he missed both of them. Really struggling right now. Exactly five minutes remaining, tied at 54. figures and assists. Unofficially, we've got him at nine. Contact away from the ball. This game has been nothing if not physical. Well, I'll tell you what, and Jensen, once again, on the receiving end of an elbow, uh, four times he's been on the receiving end of a forearm to the face. position right there on the low post much in this second half. He brings the ball down. The defense is able to time up. West up on Bias. Wilbur on Johnson out of the zone. And Bias really moving well without the ball. They're looking for him. Merlin wants to get him the ball. They can't do it because Villanova playing great defense on him. There he is from the corner. Bias, you bet. Great offensive player. Continually moving without the ball. 25 for him. And don't believe for a second that Villanova hasn't played terrific defense. Like an occasional breakdown. But by and large, he has scored these points against some very tough D. Jensen with a head fake. Works it inside. Lansky ties it. That'll be goaltending. Well, no doubt about that call. Goaltending, so Villanova will come up to two. But watch Bias move, continually moving without the ball. Finally comes along the baseline, squares up, watch the follow, follow through, and gets the ball to go down. A memorable inaugural for the Johnny Dupont Pavilion at Villanova. 40 left, tied at 58. was all along. Well, I think that's the shot that Villanova wants Maryland to shoot. They want to keep the ball away from Glenn Bias, but 
difficult sometimes to box out out of that 2-3 zone, and we saw what can happen on that play. 13 for Lewis. This game has had its spurts, but in the last seven minutes, neither team has led by more than two. Jensen with daylight. He won't miss many of those. No, he won't, and he's really fired up, so he's concentrating even more on making those shots. Inside two minutes. Nice it was to see him make that shot. Nothing against the Maryland team. 